The fifth generation fighters are the most modern aircrafts in the present test square west in the near future. This is one of the high tech equipment reflecting the combat power of modern air forces. With the strong development of military science and technology, a number of great powers have been researching and developing this type of aircraft in the direction of stealth, super maneuverability, automation, and multi purpose. The competition to develop the new modern fighters reflects the scientific background of the aerospace industry while strengthening the combat power of each country's air force. Therefore, the United States, Russia, and China are really rivals to each other in the competition of researching, manufacturing, and producing the fifth-generation fighters. According to military experts, to develop, build, and use several dozen fifth-generation fighters, a country will have to spend about $100 billion. The proof is that the U.S. has spent $70 billion to develop and build 194 F-22s and has added billions to use them from 2005 to the present. The Pentagon is also expected to spend no less than $1,500 billion to get 2,300 F-35s, excluding operating costs. Therefore, many countries choose to buy fifth-generation fighters from the U.S., Russia, or China. However, besides purchasing, developing their own fifth-generation fighter is still a dream of many countries, especially those with economic and technological potential. South Korea, a Northeast Asian country, is also developing the project of fifth-generation KF-X fighter. In 2001, South Korea published the concept of KF-X drafted by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration. In April 2011, South Korea and Indonesia signed an agreement to jointly develop this new generation fighter. Accordingly, Indonesia will bear 20% of development costs and have 80 KF-X to replace F-16s and Su-27s, and South Korea will have 120 KF-X to replace the aging fleet of F-4s and F-5s. According to John Harp News, South Korea has completed the preliminary design review of the KF-X fighter, and the Defense Acquisition Program Administration has achieved critical design review by September 2019. The design for the KF-X, which stands for Korean Fighter Experimental. For Indonesia, this program is known as IFX, stands for Indonesia Fighter Experimental describing the main project companies and the experimental nature of the program. The initial operational requirements for this program as stated by South Korea's Agency for Defense Development were to develop a single-seat twin-engine jet with their capabilities beyond both the Dazzle Rafael and Aerofighter Typhoon, but not as stealthy as the Rocket Martin F-35 Lightning II. If not heavily revised, it could be a twin-engine fighter about the size of the Eurofighter Typhoon. The two engines used are Hanwha Techwin F414KI afterburning turbofan. Each engine will develop a maximum thrust of 22,000 pounds. The new fighter jet can reach a maximum speed of Mark 1.97. According to the Weapon Systems Concept Development and Application Research Center of Concord University, the KF-X is intended to be superior to the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Compared to the F-16, the KF-X will have a 50% greater combat radius, 34% longer airframe lifespan, better avionics including a Hanwha-produced AES-A radar, and better electronic warfare, infrastructure and track and data link capabilities. The KF-X fighter will be installed with Cobham air to air missile eject launcher for the carriage and launch of air to air missiles. The missile eject launcher will allow the carriage of weapons on store stations within bomb base, conformal stations, and traditional wing pylon stations. It will enable the safe launch of either Meteor or Amram air to air missiles. Notably, the disclosed photos of the KF-X design shows the jet is armed with European missile systems. 
from meteor long range air to emissions developed by MBDA are shown to be natural under the fuselage, while two Iris T short range guided air to emissions are mounted on respective wing tip launchers. The DAPA originally preferred fitting the KF 6 aircraft with US weapon systems, such as Raytheon built AIM 120 and AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles. But the U.S. government has yet to approve the export license of the missiles, according to DAPA officials. That means KF's H engineers have modified the jet's design to carry the European weapon systems in place of U.S. ones. The aircraft will also carry Harris Corporation's RBU-47 and RBU-57 relay systems. The RBU-57 Dual Smart Munition Relay System enables to carry bombs up to 2,000 pounds class and is found on F-16 flying worldwide. It is also capable of carrying 1,000 pounds and 500 pounds radar family of ammunition. The single-seat and tandem-seat cockpit configurations of the kf X fighter will be fitted with burst drive resistant canopy and wind seals supplied by Stake Stars. At the moment, Information on KF-6 is very limited. We will have to wait and see what happens. My video of KF-6 project ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.